particular video, I wanted to share some books that I've gotten recently. They're nothing fancy, but wanted to go ahead and share them, as well as a few blogs. Uh, as far as the blogs, first, um, the guys over at Trial Blog are excellent and provide quite often a good def uh, defense of the faith, as well as you know humor. Their take on the Skype and Microsoft.net thing was rather hilarious. Photoshopping the word Skynet and that Terminator was actual prophecy coming true. If you've seen the Terminator movies, you'd get that. But they do an excellent job defending the faith, reliability of the scriptures, atheism. Another is a friend of mine. You get servantsofgrace.org, um, who does you know, very good writing, uh, whether it be theology or practical subjects. Um, recent went on, Walking in the Holy Spirit is very good, and I recommend uh, his blog as well. Another friend, uh, even though, you know, the writers there are awe mills, and we'll forgive them for that, you know, nobody's perfect. But at uh, Reformed Dash for His Glory dot blogspot, uh, once again enjoy them, and they're an excellent blog. Anyone can read these uh, particular blogs. You can find Joel the Immerser as well as another blog I recommend. All of these are easy to read. Try a blog can get a bit uh, deep at times in some of their blog posts, but. All of them, any person can read. As far as the books, uh, I'm going to share here. This is Ravi Zacharias' The Real Face of Atheism. Read through a little bit of it so far and highly enjoy it. Um, part one is Man, the Measure of All Things. Uh, chapter one, Morticians of the Absolute. Is there not a cause? Virtue in distress. Sisyphus on a roll. Grave doubts. Part two is God the treasure of life's pursuits, climbing in the midst and with larger eyes than ours. Not a big book, but very good. Another one, uh, which I like, The Discipline of Grace by Jerry Bridges, God's role and our role in the pursuit of holiness. Um, it's got 13 chapters talking about various disciplines. Uh, looking forward to that book. Reading through a little bit of it now. Another one I bought at church the other day. Uh, Disciplines of a Godly Man by R. Kent Hughes. You can see it. Uh, it's got, let's see, how many chapters we got here? We got 19. Uh, discipline of Purity, Discipline of Marriage, Discipline of Fatherhood, Friendship, Discipline of Mind, Devotion, Prayer, and Worship, Discipline of Integrity, Discipline of Tongue, Discipline of Work, Discipline of Perseverance, Discipline of Church, Discipline of Leadership, Giving, Witness, Ministry, and Grace of Discipline. Very good book. Looking forward to reading that one. This one is Dual Citizens by Jason J. Stellman, forward by Michael Horton. Uh, haven't gotten into this yet. Worship and Life Between the Already and Not Yet. Um, looking forward to this one, you know. Uh, it seems to be based, I guess, on his Two Kingdom theory, uh, Stellman's work. But part one is Christian worship for dual citizens. That has seven chapters in it. Part two is cr the Christian life for dual citizens. So that's chapters 8 through 14. Next one I'm working through now, A Call to Spiritual Reformation, Priorities from Paul and His Prayers by Dr. D.A. Carson. This one's excellent. Uh, just, you know, quite often what I've read through so far is uh, just practical things you can do to help in prayer life. Um, this one, Lessons from the School of Prayer, to give you an idea, it's just chapter one. Among the lessons more mature Christians have taught me then are these. One, much praying is not done because we do not plan to pray. That gives you an idea. It's more sort of the practical. It's got 12 chapters. Lessons from the School of Prayer, the Framework of Prayer, 2 Thessalonians 1, 3 through 12, Worthy Petitions, Praying for Others, A Passion for People, 
the content of a challenging prayer, excuses for not praying, overcoming the hurdles, a sovereign and personal God, praying to the sovereign God, and most of these are based on various passages, you know, like overcoming hur the hurdles in chapter 8 based on Philippians 1, 9 through 11, a sovereign and personal God, praying to the sovereign gods based on Ephesians 1, 15 through 23. So, outstanding book. Anything by Dr. Carson's very good. The other one is uh, one I'm looking forward to very much, Evangelical Ethics. Uh, I think this is the third edition, Issues Facing the Church Today by John Jefferson Davis. Uh, uh, covers various issues. It looks like there's 12 chapters. Dimensions of decision-making, contraception, reproductive technologies, divorce and remarriage, homosexuality, abortion, infanticide and euthanasia, capital punishment, civil disobedience and revolution, war and peace, Environmental Ethics, History, Issues, and Theology, and the Genetic Revolution. Uh, let's see. The blurb on the back has from John Frame as well. So I said, looking forward to that book. This next is actually four books. Um, not many people know about them, to be honest. Even a number of pastors. And I wanted to, I've had these for a little while, but wanted them include them here. Uh, this is volume one. It's a systematic theology. It comes in four volumes, as you can see here. This is by Wilhelmus A. Brockel. You can see it. The Christian's Reasonable Service, Wilhelmus A. Brockel. Four volumes. It's a systematic theology, but there's a bit more than that because he also deals with the practical outworkings of the theology in our lives. Uh, let's see. Volume one is the theology, the doctrine of God, anthropology, Christology. In volume two, ecclesiolo ecclesiology and Soteriology, Volume 3, Soteriology, The Doctrine of Salvation. It's continued. And then Volume 4, Soteriology, The Doctrine of Salvation, continued. And Eschatology. And he has a, an appendix, The Administration of the Covenant of Grace in the Old and New Testaments. That's just briefly. Uh, I like it quite a bit. As I said, it's not just a systematic theology. I like it better than Burkhoff or anybody else. I read he's just a bit more unknown. Um, like I said, four volumes. I think I bought mine at Reformation Heritage. But those are the books I've gotten, wanted to share. And like I said, once again, as far as the blogs as well, uh, try a blog, servantsofgrace.org, Joel the Immerser blog, and reformed-for-his-glory, that blog spot. Uh, recommend all of those. There's a number of them, number of others as well that I enjoy, but uh, those will do for now. Thinking Christian, I think .net is another excellent one. Uh, but like I said, hopefully that was benefit. You can check out those blogs, uh, these books if you're interested. Um, you can buy them almost anywhere. Thank you.